Sioux Greyhounds were looking to continue their impressive start to the season on Sunday night at the SR Center against the Sarnia Sting. After the Sting grab a 1-0 lead 39 seconds into the contest, we pick up the action midway through the opening period. Justin D. Benedetto rips the rebound past Hounds goaltender Cody St. Jacques on the power play. Just 15 seconds later and the Sting still on a power play, D. Benedetto completes a natural hat trick with this goal and the visitor silence the SR center faithful with a 3-0 lead. Frustration boils over for the Hounds shortly after as James Livingston gets into a punch up with Greg Such and Livingston draws an extra 4 minutes in penalties for his part. But the Hounds respond while short-handed. Matt Carrier takes a turn over at the blue line and feeds Anthony Peluso on the two-on-one break for the goal to cut the Sarnia lead down to 3-1. Jumping ahead to the second period, the Sting continue to go on the offensive. While short-handed, the Sting turned this giveaway into Justin DiBenedetto's fourth goal of the game. Still on the power play in Sarnia, Stephen Reese beats Cody St. Jock for a 5-1 lead, which chases the Hounds starter from the game in favor of Bryce O'Hagan. Right off the draw following the goal, the Hounds' Jake Carrick and Sarnia's Michael Neal square off in a dandy bout at center ice. Final seconds of the period ticking away. The Sting add to their lead as Dee Benedetto picks up his fifth goal of the night to make it 6-1 Sarnia. In the third period now, and the Hounds cut into the lead on the power play. Matt Lyle tips in his sixth goal of the season to make it 6-2. Just over a minute later on a power play of their own, Jamie Arneal bangs in the rebound for the Sting, and Sarnia regains their sixth goal lead. The time mercifully runs out for the Hounds in this one as the Sarnia Sting celebrate a convincing 7-2 victory. The Greyhounds will now look to work out the kinks as they prepare for a three-game road trip that begins Thursday night in Peterborough. This is Ken Hilderley reporting for SueToday.com Sports.